Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, this here's a tough question, Mike. I told you I wouldn't shy away from this. So I'm warning you. Linda says, several internet users have accused you of police brutality. I'm assuming from when you were a cop, specifically in Hallandale. Is that is that a place, Mike? Hallandale. I work you for the city. You work for the city of Hallandale. Great. Where you entered a home slash apartment without a warrant. Did you, I guess they're asking, did you commit a warrantless entry? That there's no, these accusations it, it, floating the, out the, there. The question, uh, I, I, I'm not certain about the case to which they're alluding, but if it's the one I'm thinking of, I've n- never been accused of anything even rhyming with police brutality. That's just a silly implication. And please, uh, you know, that's a when did you stop beating your wife type of question. <laughs> now, okay. No one's ever even accused me of that. And nobody uh, would and no one I've ever worked with would even suggest that that's uh, conceivable. There was a a case in which uh, our police department was dispatched to the wrong place. We had a guy in handcuffs for something like six minutes before realizing it was the wrong guy. And he is seeking compensation for that. And, Mm -hmm. you know, to be honest, I think that that makes some sense. You know, so, you want you want police officers and agencies to be held accountable just because nobody made a mistake on purpose uh, doesn't mean that, you know, uh, someone who feels that they have been wrong shouldn't have the right to redress. That's just fundamental. And to say otherwise is un-American in my view. OK, so I think you've addressed that head on. Um you you so basically you just you get, somehow you got the wrong address you ended up at an apartment acted on some information uh now that person mentioned warrantless now is that the case where even with the wrong address did you have a warrant for the wrong address if that makes sense there was a pro, i'm actually not allowed to talk in too much detail my Fair understanding enough. and this is i was not involved in the documentation but my understanding is that there was uh, probable cause, but no, there was not, there was not a forced entry. There was not an uninvited entry, you know, nothing, nothing like that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mike. Hey everybody. This is big John from grumblings media. And I just want to say thank you for watching our content. If you want to support our efforts here at grumblings media, just smash the subscribe button right here. Totally free. Or just go ahead and consume more of our great content. Click either one of these two boxes.